Hello, and welcome to our new workshop. In today's workshop, I would like to show you how the versioning of your documents works in PaperOffice. All documents that are saved in PaperOffice are versioned revision-proof according to GOBD for perfect storage, which quite simply means the original documents can be edited, but a new version is created after each editing process. PaperOffice version control enables this. This extensive version module creates shadow copies and lets you travel through document changes like in a time machine. The versioning in PaperOffice can be done in three different ways. Number one, the simplest method is to click on the relevant document. To do this, I click on an already archived Word document, then click on the Options icon and select Edit Source File. PaperOffice informs us about the procedure in the upper part of the window and asks about the processing program. I click OK because I want to edit the document with Microsoft Word. I now change the upper area of the document by changing the font color to red and increasing the font size. Now I must click on the Close button in the top right corner and confirm the subsequent query with Save. The document version that has just been saved appears immediately in the Documents in Progress area and we only must click on Check in and save for this version to be adopted. PaperOffice also updates the preview image of the document as well as the text recognition. The current document version is always displayed in PaperOffice. The number of document versions is displayed in the right menu bar under Advanced Document Options. In this way, you can see immediately whether the document has been versioned and how many versions there are. In our case, there are two versions. I will come back to version control later during the workshop. Number two, the second versioning method is to edit the document with the Workbench editing module integrated in PaperOffice. Please note, however, that you can only edit PDF documents. To do this, I select a PDF file in the document list and click on Options as with the first method. Then select the item Edit Document with Workbench. The Workbench window then opens. I now drag my document to the lower area with the left mouse button and move the mouse over the document, so I activate the advanced editing functions of Workbench. Then I click on the Edit symbol on the far left. As the next step, PaperOffice asks me which program I would like to use to edit the document. I select the Paint program. I sign my document and, as with the first method, click on the Close button and save my changes by pressing the Save button. In order to see the changes in Workbench, I now update the file that has just been changed by clicking on the green button as seen in the video. In the right area, I now select Save Changes so that the changed document is versioned in an audit-proof manner as the next step and close Workbench. As with the first method, PaperOffice updates the preview image and does the text recognition of the document again. And here, too, the number of versions in the right menu bar changes to two versions. Number three, the third versioning method, so-called manual versioning, is suitable when documents are printed out and, for example, signed by hand and then have to be scanned in as a new version. To do this, I select the document in the document list for which I want to add a new version. This procedure is possible thanks to PIA. I have already prepared a document for this. I select the document and simply drag it into the PaperOffice interface. As the next step, select the storage mode, Display Storage Dialog. After the document has been analyzed by PIA, the Save button with further options is activated on the left. To do this, I click on the arrow to the right of it and select the option under the Manual Versioning area, Add as New Version for the selected document and confirm the security question with OK. PaperOffice takes over the document immediately and saves it as a further current document version. Now I come back to the promised version control. This enables us to view older versions or all versions of the respective document. To do this, I click on the version symbol with the number of versions that I mentioned earlier. In our example, we already have three different document versions. The original document always starts with version 1.0, and so each additional version is incremented 1.1, 1.2, etc. The creation date and the username are displayed on the left, with the current preview image on the right. If I click on Options, I can open the version. 
So, you can always fall back on the respective version and view the document. This concludes our workshop. Thanks to PaperOffice, you have everything on board for secure document processing, audit-proof, and GOBD compliant. If you want to find out which additional functions PaperOffice has, watch other videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay informed about the latest workshops, or visit our website. Thank you for watching.